Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2020 edition of the Maker's Workshop, where we finally have a brand new, clean, unbroken, unpainted, unexploded, unburnt workshop space. Over the last year, I have built a new workshop here in the house, so we'll have a nice clean surface to work on. We have so many projects to work on together. This is going to be a lot of fun. Also, you'll notice some really clean audio, and that is thanks to a little gadget I bought on Amazon. Not a sponsor, but I bought this little wireless mic. It's called a, uh, let's see if we can get up here, a Hotec, Bubba Hotec. Uh, it's a wireless 900 megahertz transceiver, and it lets me pin a lapel mic onto myself or use this headset. Let's see if I can show you the headset. Stick my head under the camera. Hello. Uh, and so, and that's probably the last time you see my face for a while. Uh, so we're going to be using this, and hopefully that will improve the audio, especially when I'm working on things, because now when I'm working on something, I won't just fade into the distance as I go away from the mic, which is a great thing. Got a lot of projects to work on this year, and the workshop is set up for it. So you'll notice that over here, to the left, we have a Lulzbot TAS-6 printer. Uh, hopefully we'll be upgrading it even further right now. It has a Taz Aero uh, Struder head, uh, pretty good for high detail work. For larger pieces over here on the right, we've got a Creality CR10. So it has a 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter by 400 millimeter workspace. Uh, it has been upgraded to, as you'll notice here, a direct drive extruder. Um, let's hope, actually you can't see it from there. So what we'll do is, uh, we use the magic of television uh, here. There you go. So there you go. Now it's a direct drive extruder. It was made by Print Mods. It's available on Amazon, very much like the microphone I bought. Again, not a sponsor of the show. Are you listening out there? Yeah. Uh, okay. So other things that are going to be happening this year, uh, coming up at the end of the month, I am going to go see this monster here. We're going to talk about some electric cars and things you can do with them. This is the Rivian R1S. And the R1S and the R1T are going to be at the fully charged show here at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. So I'm going to head down there and we're going to take a look at the R1T, the R1S, the technology behind them, and then work on some of that same technology here on a DIY power wall. Also, this new workbench allows us to do amazing things like look at schematics. Yeah, although I'm probably using special effects as much as I use that. Uh, projects this year are going to include DIY Powerwall, uh, working on an electric trike for my daughter. So you'll see how to use an electric bike system to build a go-kart for your kid. And uh, we'll be covering all kinds of subjects. The goal is one video a week every week. If we make it, that'd be pretty cool. All right. So the next upcoming episode will be uh, building a extra length boom for the camera rig that's letting you see this right now and uh, going over how that was built, uh, finding its files on Thingiverse and the print settings and how to go about printing that. Uh, immediately thereafter, we're going to be upgrading a 2019 Mac Pro to a full 160 gigabytes of RAM, four terabytes of hard disk space. We're going to actually 3D print and reverse engineer the SATA connector for that uh, computer. And if we get lucky, possibly even install a PCIe NVMe Samsung drive and have it work. Eh, cross your fingers, because uh, if we can get that to work, then we can go from 4K to 8K, which is not bad when you're working deep inside a computer. All right, see you all in 2020. Bye.